Hey, what is up guys? It's Ocarina 23 here and today's video is going to be a new spoiler video or maybe better a set list video about the Dark Saviors booster pack. So uh, let's get started and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, first of all I just want to say that uh, this booster pack is, um, is weighted uh, from a lot of people uh, because of the vampire stuff, uh, of the full higher stuff and of course and most of all for the sky striker stuff so uh, this archetype is good it's not good it's splashable it's not splashable let's take a look at it together and let's decide it together so uh, this booster pack is a special pack like the battle of legends likely range with 60 cards all super rares and secret rares and we got as you can see just super and uh, secrets and we got three archetypes as I said before and the most awaited is uh, the sky striker and the first card as you can see is the sky striker ace kagari which is uh, link one and it requires one on fire sky striker ace monster if this card is special summon you can target one sky striker spell in your graveyard add it to your hand uh, against 100 attack for each spell in your graveyard you can special summon Sky Striker Ace uh, Kanagi once per turn, Kagari once per turn. So uh, this archetype is about uh, making a token and then spamming Link, activating a lot of spell cards and stuff like that. And we can see also the prices. Um, most of the of these cards are not high in price at the moment, except for the Mobilize Engage that we will see later. That is the main spell card of the archetype. Then we got the Sky Striker Ace Rai, which is the, the main deck monster, the Maiden. You can tribute this card, quick effect, special summon one Sky Striker Ace monster from your extra deck to the extra monster zone while this card is in your graveyard. If a face up Sky Striker Ace Link monster you control is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can special summon this card. You can only use each effect of this card uh, once per turn and nice stats but it won't stay on the field a lot then we got the sky striker shizuku the water link that requires one on water sky striker ace monster most of your opponent controls will lose 100 attack and defense for each spell in your graveyard and there will, <laughs> there will be a lot of spells trust me once per turn during the end phase if this card was special summon uh, this turn you can add one sky striker spell from your deck to your hand with a name different from the card in your graveyard you can only special summon this once per turn. Then we got the Sky Striker Mecha Hornet Drones, quick quick play spell. If you control more monsters in your main monster zones, special summon one Sky Striker Ace token, uh, which is a Warrior Dark level one uh, with zero attack and defense in defense position, which cannot be tributed. And if you have uh, three or more spell spells in your graveyard, when this effect resolves, the token has attack uh, 1500 in defense as well instead then we got uh, some a bunch of reprints like scapegoat foolish brutal goose which is really nice and we're getting night a little of darkness and other stuff Toon table of contents that is a nice reprint just because of the fact that we don't have a lot of printings of this card and then we got Sty sky striker airspace area zero which is the field spell you can target one other card you control excavate the top three cards of your deck and if you do, you can add one excavated Sky Striker card to your hand. Also shuffle the rest into the deck, then if you excavated a Sky Striker card, send the targeted card to the graveyard. If this card in the field zone is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon one Sky Striker Ace monster from your deck. You can only use each effect of Sky Striker Ace space area zero once per turn. I think that um, no one would play this, I don't know, it depends on the builds I guess then Droning Mirror Force, then the Vampire stuff that uh, I think that we can talk about the Vampire stuff in a different video if you want just tell me uh, if you want to see this Vampire stuff which is the 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 new archetype I, I guess a lot of new supports but nothing so special in my advice it won't be so meta relevant that's why I want to talk about this in this video it's more about the Sky Strikers and then we got the Sky Striker Mecha uh, Mecha Modus Multi Roll, which is a continuous spell card. Once per turn, you can target one uh, other card you control, send the card to the graveyard. 
Also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to your spell card activations for the rest of this turn. Uh, you can only uh, gain these effects once per, once per turn. Once per turn during the end phase, you can set Sky Striker spells with different names from your graveyard up to the number of Sky Striker spell cards you activated this turn. While this card was face up on your field, but banish them when they leave the field. So I don't know. Nice one as well. Then Sky Striker McCarmony Hercules Base. Uh, I don't think it is so relevant this well this as well. Activate this card is an equip uh, spell card. Only if you control no monsters in your main monster zones. The keep monster cannot attack directly. You can make a second attack on monsters during each battle phase. If the keep monster destroys a monster by its, its uh, attack while you have three or more spells in your graveyard, you can draw one card. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target up to three Sky Striker cards in your graveyard except Sky Striker McHarmony, uh, shuffle them into the deck. So nothing so special. Then other vampire stuff, Dark Griefer, good reprint, vampire, then Sky Striker, mobilize, Engage, which is a 62 euros uh, card with the price tag for now. Seeker Rare, of course. And this card states as follows If you control no monsters in your main monster zones, add one Sky Striker card from your deck to your hand. Except itself. So you can add everything, everything you need. Then, if you have three or more spells in your graveyard, you can draw one card. And this is amazing, you know. It's a free upstart goblin. You can run three of them and you can add everything you need. Then continuing with the Sky Strikers, we got also Sky Striker Mecha Window Anchor. If you control no monsters to in your main monster zone, target one face-up effect monster on the field, negate that face-up monster's effect until the end of this turn. Then if you have three or more spells in your graveyard you can take control of that monster until the end phase and this is a quick play spell card and as you can see this card is 20 bucks so nice one then we got the sky striker uh, maneuver jamming waves if you control no monsters in your main monster zones target one set spell trap on the field destroy it then if you have three or more spells in your graveyard you can destroy one monster on the field then the sky striker matcha eagle booster if you control no monsters in your main monster zones target one face up monster on the field then target uh, the target is unaffected by card effects this third except its own and if you have three or more spells in your graveyard it cannot be destroyed by valor this third so as you can see all the all the spell cards as the statement that says that if you got three or more spell cards you can gain you can gain additional effects. So these are really really nice, and there is this synergy in this deck. Then vampire stuff, one simply mirror force. And as I said before, tell me in the comments down below if you want to see also a video about the vampire stuff. Then in the second page, the other 30 cards we got, uh, you, we can find the sky striker matcha shark cannon. Uh, which states that if you control no monsters in your main monster zones, target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, banish that monster. Or if you have three or more spells in your graveyard, you can special summon that monster to your field instead, but it cannot attack. But it doesn't matter because you can link summon or doing other stuff. Then, uh, we got this one. Then, Sky Striker maneuver. After Burners, which is an 11 euros card now. If you control no monsters in your main monster zones, target one face up monster on the field, destroy it. Then, if you have three or more spells in your graveyard, you can destroy one spell trap on the field. And then, uh, the second archetype, I think that that's it for the Sky Strikers. And the second good ar archetype is the, the AX uh, Skyfarm Brigade. The now, now it's higher which is really bad and this archetype is cool uh, I think that drawings are cool as well artworks are really nice as you can see here and I will talk about this in another video if you want uh, but I think that the archetype everyone is waiting for is the sky strikers 
Um, this engine is really splashable uh, nowadays in a lot of decks, but I think that later in the future will be even better. As you can see, uh, I'm showing you a bunch of reprints. We got another reprint for the Endymion as well, which is nice uh, because it was a really pricey common uh, before this uh, Daza and before the uh, OTS pack reprint. So um, I think that these um, Sky Strikers in the end are really really nice, good effects, good synergy, easy to splash, just one monster in in the main deck, a lot of spells. Uh, how to beat them, anti-spell fragrance, imperial order, draw a lockbird, they are all nice. So uh, that's it for today, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you got some suggestions please comment down below, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to support me and see you in the next one.